Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Black coffee with the St. David's Pipes mug. Oh, that's hot. Uh, Stanwell semi-brushed bulldog with the new morning codger smoke. Prince Albert. So this is a VR for Jess Piping. Jesse, congratulations, man. Congratulations on your sub count. Enjoy your channel, and uh, I'm sure you'll have many, many more. And Jesse would like to know what our bucket list is. So, um... Two right off the bat would be, uh, I would like to tour uh, every Civil War and Revolutionary War battlefield uh, that would be open for the public uh, in the U.S., like Vicksburg, Antium, uh, Shiloh. I've been to Gettysburg several, several times, but that's the only Civil War uh, battlefield I've been to. And then I'd like to uh, head up to New England and um, uh, South Carolina uh, for the uh, Revolutionary War battlefields, Cow's Pen in South Carolina, and uh, Fort Sumpner's there also for the Civil War. So, uh, get, uh, get a few done there as well. That would be, uh, one bucket list. Uh, the second one, I would like to learn to speak Welsh. Uh, my dad spoke it until he was about five or six years old. They spoke it in the house of family, but, uh, it was frowned upon by the English government back then happy to say it's not now and it is uh, uh encouraged in the uh, schools there uh to learn welsh uh the native language of wales obviously so um i would like to do that uh some people in wales speak welsh some people don't but uh, i would like to do that that's uh be time consuming uh, to do that. And touring the battlefields uh, would also be very time consuming too. But uh, right now, those would be uh, two things on my bucket list. Now, um, just a little background, my, uh, my mom, uh, her people never spoke Welsh when they lived there. And of course, my mother was born here in the United States. But dad's family spoke it. And um, I know a few small, uh, not small, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I know some words, some greetings. Uh, Shomai, hello. Uh, um Thank you very much. But... Um, I want to speak it fluently. And uh, like I said, Dad smoked, uh, smoked it. Yeah. <laughs> Dad spoke it um, as a child until he was about five or six. And uh, he, they, uh, he lost it. Uh, go figure. It's kind of odd. So anyway, bucket list. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a good day, and uh, thank you for watching. Get back to this coffee and uh, pipe, but we'll see you. Bye now.